चंदू मासो साड़ी का पूरा Our chief guest for today's Federal of Pisuza, President of Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry, our guest of honor today, Dr. Mahesh Patil, Chairman of Goa State Pollution Control Board, my colleague on the desk, Designated Officer Richard Naruna, all the stakeholders, the members of our state legislative Advisory Council, uh, members present here, Pallavi Saragakar, she is also the uh, chairperson of the Women's Wing of uh, Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Then from our AFSTR member, Dorothy Perira from Taj Bhutta Hotels, yeah. our uh, restaurant and hotel owners association president, uh, Mr. Don. Then, uh, Girish Desai and all other uh, our uh, members of this uh, Munza who are who will be uh, who are our uh, one of the associates for this uh, celebration of this uh, World Food Safety Day program. All the other dignitaries, invitees, my uh, team FDA members here, the team media and ladies and gentlemen a uh, very good morning and a warm welcome to you all for this function to celebrate the world food safety day as already you know and said earlier 7 june is celebrated as the world food safety day and because a function was held at the delhi by the food safety and standards authority of india to celebrate this day and to felicitate and award ceremony for the award winners of the state food safety index and as already said goa has won this prestigious award of standing first in the food state food safety index declared by food safety and standards authority of india for the consecutive fifth year and i congratulate my team fda for these consistent efforts it's very easy to uh, go to the first rank but then maintain it continuously for five years is a really consistent efforts by team FDA and also the strong support from all our stakeholders all our line departments and this is how we are able to achieve this feat which no other state has achieved so far you will also know that this year is declared as the international year of millets by United Nations at the instance of government of India. So we have celebrated this, uh, we have been celebrating and already conducted the programs for this 
millets then our uh, flagship program was the millets mela which was inaugurated by our honorable health minister sri shwajit rani and it was a grand success we also had series of lectures and then cooking competition earlier today also to celebrate as a part of the world food safety day celebration we are having this as already said earlier uh, this uh, celebrate this international year of millets we have kept a cooking competition swedish competition made of millets which will be in the second half as said earlier this year the theme is food standards save lives food standards are very important food standards uh, this one of the mandate of fssar is to set up the food standards earlier also when in the pfa PFA regime there were standards for the food so this is a continuous process of setting standards by fssar even the earlier standards if they need any revision then the standards are revised so continuously this process is going on there are scientific committees who are working on this then there are advisory panels finally it goes to the food authority and then the uh, standards they go to the ministry for setting the standards after it is approved by the ministry then the drafts are uh, kept open for uh, public comments anything and then only the final the draft the, the notification final is published and the standards become a law so this setting standards is very important and recently the standards for our basmati rice were set up by fssai see this uh, F goa fda uh, is doing a very good job that is seen from the awards that we are getting every year and that to the first award so my colleague richard will show you the glimpses of what activities we are doing because how much effort goes into that see when i was there at delhi to receive this award and then the guest of honor was the union minister of uh, state for health dr bagel he said that this awards are not achieved by the employees who do the 10 to 5 job he says that i am saying this from my own experience see from childhood if i have to get the award then i have to put in little extra so only those people who put little extra they go to receive these awards secondly regarding this international year of billets we will continue doing the activities now one small thing i'll say is that uh, to create awareness about this international year of millets and the millets the importance of this millets in our diet so our prime minister is given it the name called shri anna is also called uh, bharat dhanya so this uh, just to create awareness a spot prize will be announced and our sarita from goa prize monitoring resource unit she has uh, she will tell you what is the how to get that uh, spot prize secondly as i said already this uh, we have been conducting walkathon and uh, this uh, mela to create awareness about the eat right eating right is very important health is very important when everyone say health is wealth so how how much health uh, is more than a wealth that we are all realize during the covid period so this food safety standards authority of india they have come out with the scheme of eat right india so under there are different initiatives and one of the initiatives is ruko that is repurpose use cooking oil general notion is that, that fried food is bad fried food is not bad provided the quality of the oil that you use is right and it is cooked in the safe environment and you eat it in moderate quantity so today to emphasize the importance of used cooking oil or how to dispose it of scientifically we have arranged on the lecture by munzer and also from the goa the uh, scientists from goa state pollution control board will uh, give the presentation and will enlighten us all on how to dispose of scientifically this used cooking oil instead of it going into the unwanted market that is another thing and uh, we are i'm so happy today that we could uh, we have as a chief guest mr ralph who himself is from the uh, this uh, food industry and also as a president of goa chamber we have had a lot of uh, cooperative collaborative approach and then 
as a united in cooperation we have done a lot for the food industry similarly i am uh, very thankful to dr patil for accepting our invitation to be the guest of honor and to be present over here once again i welcome you all for this function thank you respected uh, dignitaries on the dais our chief guests sri ram disuza guest of honor mr manish patel our director of fta jyoti ma'am all the dignitaries in the audience media and my dear colleagues in the next uh, 10 minutes i would be taking you through the journey of fta and emphasizing on our success stories and to throw some light on why we have been awarded this uh, state food safety index award and why have we winning it for the past 5 years so i request my colleague lanu to come here in the presentation so as you are all aware the food safety and standards authority of india is the central body which is responsible for ensuring the availability of safe and wholesome food throughout the country uh, fssci is the authority which defines the policy throughout the country and is a very dynamic organization as i say food safety the standards keep on evolving every day new products come into the market new research is happening every day and many new things are happening on a daily basis and food safety and standards of authority of india works in a very proactive manner in the same way the fssi also expects each and every states to work in a similar proactive fashion and to foster positive competition among states and to ensure that the states are meeting up with the benchmarks they started with something called as the state food safety index so state food Sa safety index is basically a matrix that has been designed by fssci wherein uh, we have several parameters which are defined and a scoring system is given to each and every parameter so uh, uh, we are evaluated at the end of the year on our performances in each and every parameter which i am going to discuss and based on the outcome uh, these scores are given and then the standing is decided so let us look at what are these parameters so uh, these are the parameters defined by fssi we have human resource so fssi ensures that the states are having having adequate amount of human resource to carry out the food safety related work second is institutional data that is the data of the amount of inspections that we do the enforcements that we do the surveillances that we do so all the Uh, statutory functions that we are performing we are evaluated on that third is the compliance and food testing which will be again the amount of samples that we are drawing and what is the uh, type of testing we are doing so that is evaluated here then we take a look at the infrastructure to ensure that we are having adequate facilities to work and uh, more specifically in terms of the laboratory to have the best of functions in the laboratory to ensure adequate testing so we are evaluated on that then we come to training and capacity building so this arm of fssi ensures that our enforcement officers are first of all trained to carry out their job to have a regular refresher trainings for our enforcement officers and at the same time we have a program called fostac which is for the food industry which uh, mandates that every person we issue a license to should have at least one person who is certified under fostac per 25 employees so this is uh, the target that we have in our hands and we are carrying out regular fostac programs besides fostac we are also doing a lot of other trainings for uh, consumer organizations for colleges for self help groups so there are uh, many things that happen throughout the year and then these things are again uh, evaluated by the fssci and last but not the least is consumer empowerment is how easy we make it for the consumers to reach out to us and how consumer friendly we are so these are the uh, matrices on which we are judged so there are various functions that they evaluate so just take a look at the few things so in terms of human resource uh, we have a very good strength of uh, food safety officers with us currently uh, the ratio of food safety officers to the food business operators in goa is the highest in the entire country so we have a uh, lot of uh, i mean large number of food safety officers as compared to the food business to the other states so we have adequate manpower in the uh, fda this is where we get a lot of our points where we ensure that our uh, 
uh, workforce is in place and this is the efforts of the government uh, to make sure that uh, adequate manpower is available. Moving on is the total polar compound values which is defined by the FSCI. Similarly, our uh, officers are uh, moving out to carry out their surveillance drives and on a daily basis we have uh, two teams, one team in North Goa and one team in South Goa which is deputed in various areas to carry out this enforcement work. Next slide please. Here are a few of the success stories which have been captured by the media, uh, especially uh, the apprehension in uh, people's mind regarding artificial ripening. So we carry out uh, drives in a regular manner and as and when uh, something doubtful is found, we ensure that there is adequate action taken. And the reason we reach out in the media is to also create awareness, not only among our consumers but also among the food business operators to make them uh, aware that such things will attract a uh, penalty and then in such cases, uh, we also ensure that the court cases are filed, again, filed against the uh, violators. Next. So here are uh, a few of the surveillance drives that we are doing in coordination with the FSSI. So there are pan-India surveillances which the FSSI organizes. So we have done a pan-India surveillance on oil uh, which, which, uh, and on jaggery. And the outcome of these surveillances uh, help us to carry out targeted enforcement actions. You also get to see your glimpses of our laboratory and uh, it is immense, an immense pleasure for us to announce that our laboratory is an NABL accredited laboratory which is uh, uh, a very prestigious accreditation and we are having uh, one of the best uh, facilities in place, high instruments are there in place. Uh, this has happened, uh, happened in the last five to six years in collaboration with the FSCI. Uh, we are able to upgrade our laboratories and we are having the best of equipments and this also enhances our testing capacity wherein we are able to detect at a more micro level. So even if there is a very low degree of some contamination that can be caught with our instruments now. So this also helps us uh, to be more efficient in the field. Uh, uh, we also have our mobile food testing vans. Now we have two of them, one which was recently launched during the millets mela. So through these vans we ensure that we reach out to the local uh, remote pockets and these vans are used for again training, awareness and also some basic surveillance testings are done through the van. Training and capacity building has always been uh, the uh, strong point of FDA Goa and uh, when uh, it, at the national level also we have been given a special highlight as far as uh, the training and capacity building efforts of FDA Goa because we have been doing really well in terms of the entire country as far as the training programs are concerned, we have our entire food safety officers, they are not only engaged in carrying out inspections and samplings, but they are also engaged in uh, reaching out to the consumers and we are doing daily training programs for the self-help groups, for the consumers, for our food business operators. So we try and touch upon each and every area, which, whichever is available. Recently, we also tried to reach out to colleges and schools with our message of uh, eat right. So these are a few more glimpses of the trainings that are held at various places. Uh, we are, uh, the photos on the, uh, the left side top are in the South Goa district. So since we have opened the South Goa office, we have now started a lot of programs in the South Goa collectorate in association with the collector's office. So it is also easy now for our South Goa food business operators. They don't have to come all the way to uh, Panjim. They get the training needs satisfied in Marga itself. These are again a few more glimpses. We also participate in exhibitions that are organized uh, by the state and even by private entities wherein uh, our stalls are available and uh, through these stalls we are reaching out to people, creating awareness on eating right on millets and also reaching out to budding entrepreneurs on how to basically get their licensing. All these needs are addressed during these exhibitions. We have uh, in fact started a very robust campaign on newspaper, on radio, on billboards. So if you uh, maybe, if you are uh, a daily newspaper reader and if you like across these uh, artworks uh, wherein we have uh, emphasized on the importance of millets, we have emphasized on reading, the importance of reading labels, also we have emphasized on uh, eating right. So we have uh, done a campaign on newspaper every week we used to ensure that there is, but as I have told you that we have these uh, initiatives that which is again for the food business operators. Similarly we have 
other initiatives like clean street food hubs, eat right schools, which we work closely with schools for certification of schools in the coordination with the Directorate of Education. Uh, we have hygiene ratings. Now, this is one more on, of what is the hygiene level that is being followed by the restaurant. So, we have done uh, quite well in this area too. Uh, similarly, uh, the other initiatives as far uh, as uh, recently uh, the uh, central government has launched a, a program wherein 100 uh, clean street food hubs would be done throughout the country under the NHS to get two of, from these 100 which is entirely funded by the central government. One in North Goa, in Mapsa, we have been working closely with the local bodies. So these in a nutshell are the efforts that the FDA is uh, taking forward and uh, I think uh, uh, the award that we have been winning for the uh, larger state category but we have been uh, doing consistently well and uh, now every year we have to uh, basically compete with ourselves to win this award and uh, you all of us who are present here are also our very important stakeholders and without your valued contribution and support it is not possible for us to win this award so we always look upon to you all to support us and we are very happy that you are here with us today and will continue to be with us in this State Pollution Control Board to kindly say a few words. Good morning, Chief Guest for today's function of commemorating World Food Safety Day, Mr. Rav Bisuza, Director of FDA, Ms. Jyoti Sardesai. A little bit for all of us because they have got award not only for the first time but continues for five years and they really deserves a long applause. <laughs> because it's not only one department but it's for the state. And as he said, and Mr. Norona rightly presented how they have achieved. It is a consistent effort by all of them. And I think the hotel industry who are here are equally supporting them. And that way we are able to achieve something good. And not only good, we are able to demonstrate the country. As we know, we all in Goa are always number one in many of the things. The tourism, nature beauty, Many are not a good thing, it's a plastic. <laughs> so what we need to do is, we need to look at the flip side also. It's a plastic, which is a major issue. But what we could do, I think the collaborative efforts are required. Of course, the plastic is not because we consume. You know, four times of our population, we get a guest. The tourists which get the plastic here. Also, if it's a carbon footprint, we are also per capita highest in diesel and petrol consumption which eventually convert into a global warming or a global warming. health has to go together and health would be a specific and one the larger issue. Pollution also comes in, pesticides, how you produce, what you produce as a part of it. I wouldn't go more in detail but what I want to do have it here is this effort I must compliment uh, Director FDA for getting us involved here and let's take that is forward. In the process, like our also, we have produced citizen charter. I said proudly, yes. But the second question, is it all in company? I have to put my phone. I said no. We will ensure you, sir, that within one month, we will publish in company and will be available to everybody. Secondly, also, he said whether you do all this program in the school. I am happy that there are a lot of training program you do. We are possibly restricted to ourselves and the industry. Probably we have to widen our horizon. So jointly, we can do it. That's waste oil, we have got used oil and this is cooking oil. So when we give authorization, we give different parts of oil, but this is very important. And in fact, I was no, not much aware of how intricately it has been designed. Then I realized this waste oil is not like used oil, not disposed to a right authority, right place. It can cause a havoc because many of the scrupulous I wouldn't name, but then which we have authorized Pollution Control Board, they are part also of this team who are coming together. So this is what we say is a collaborative effect, collaborative effort. Alone you can't do anything. Mr. Rav Bisoda representing of most prominent, apex and oldest industry association, watch of commerce, 
FDA who is present the food and we are here. So together we can make more progress. Also morning when Mr. Ronald was talking with me about plastic and bottles. In fact, I am happy to share with you, probably you are read on the newspaper, on 5th June we announced that the good old system, what many of our senior people sitting here, like even Mr. Dhawan and others would know that we used to buy a beer bottle and give a deposit scheme. It's called Deposit Refund Scheme, DRS. Goa government is very, very keen. We are super adding this. Ministers and government is totally supporting us and we are launching it. In principle, we have done everything. So for which we will have a DRS system in which all bottles, plastic, liquor, beer, you have to collect in a very systematic manner. Probably most of you think that plastic is a problem. No, plastic goes back, but it's a glass bottle is a big problem. It doesn't disintegrate and it has a lot of other issues. So with all of your support together, we will able to take this forward. I also appeal FDA, say your staff goes for the inspection. I also inspector go for the inspection. When you go inspect, probably you look at FDA point of view. But however, if you observe, and let me tell you, because we have an industry chief, Mr. Ralph and others, not to punish, but observe. Tell them, this are, here the plastic has been not properly segregated. Waste is not being properly segregated. You can our data, whenever go inspection, we share with you. So it, it's a duplication effort is avoided. At the same time, the intent to improve, we can take it forward. Uh, without much ado, once again, I thank you, ma'am, for inviting me here. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I will now request a trick guest, Sri Ralph de Souza, President, Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry, to kindly say a few words. Designate Officer, FDA. Uh, thank you so much for making the Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industry a part of the celebration. We are indeed very proud to work along with FDA as well as to join you all in a celebration. Today, I'm going to depart from the normal uh, briefs, the talking points. We've heard a lot of um, FDA's performances and standards and rules and regulations, a lot of technicalities. But let me talk from a link to look after your, your, your well-being, health, again, as far as food is concerned. You have to go down to schools because we have started a system of midday meals to ensure that there are some safe meals for our students. Then, what's important today is peace of mind and happiness index. And if you have good health, if you have nutritious food, these are the foundations for what everybody is looking at, the happiness index. The farmer sector is so huge. The FDA has a role and it plays its role to weed out any harmful uh, drugs, something that has harmful by, by side effects, or those which are outdated or maybe even expired drugs. And this Quality control ensures our safety as far as our health is concerned. We have a huge presence of hospitality industry in Goa. It's one of the biggest in India in terms of rooms and in terms of footfalls. We have the international as well as the domestic market flocking into Goa. Bit slow on the international because of various factors, but I'm told that next year we'll see a much better trend and a larger number of footfalls coming into Goa. The regulations, certain laws that are implemented in order to avoid any un, uh, any undesired effects, like uh, you know what happens when you consume bad food or or, or, or stale food. There have been destinations in the world that have been closed because of this food poisoning epidemic. It happened in one country in Caribbean. The whole destination collapsed 
I remember the tour operator went bankrupt paying the compensations. It so happened that it was a huge hotel. There, the charter hotels have about two, three thousand rooms, and they are all inclusive. But people come and live in the hotel. They have their breakfast, lunch, tea, dinner, everything in the hotel. All the it's like a little Disneyland that you live in. And something went bad. Something happened that shouldn't have happened. It was terrible. The food poisoning was so bad. The compensation was so happy that the entire um, resort, the company, as well as the airline and the tour operator collapsed. That's how serious it is. And how do you ensure this thing doesn't happen? You ensure this when you have people like FDA trying and helping us. They are not here to pull us up or to make things difficult. But to avoid such tragedies, and if we take FDA in this spirit, we'll make our life easier and make our companies prosperous. The third and important thing that I would like to talk very briefly is the importance of food safety today. See, if you see Goa, people need to eat. And very often, not all can afford swanky to go to swanky restaurants and spend a lot of money. So you mostly go on the streets. We see on the road widening all over the number of eateries that have come, the number of gardens. That's absolutely impossible. So FDA is still doing micromanaging when it should do macromanaging. They have the time and the energy and the effort to do that to a great extent. But this is taking it a bit too far. The authorities should step in and see how well this can be controlled, how well this can be addressed. Concern and every, um, you know, one notch below the Michelin chef restaurants are in Goa, and they're increasing in numbers and in huge numbers. To keep them under your fold and under your rules and regulation is not that very easy for one department. We all have to cooperate. And together, we can make a difference in the sense that a very a good healthy living can come out of good healthy consumption of food. And we can ensure this. It might not be something that is world's best or something that is in a top standard. I beat you, you beat me, nothing of that sort. It's just that people are happy and they have enjoyed a meal. That's what our spirit should be. And with such a huge sector, we have to be a part of the solution and work with the FTA. This peace of mind. We, take, we always take health for granted. In fact, we forget that there's a creator. We forget God. But when somebody is ill, we are on our knees. It is Corona that has taught us how important health is. What a panic. How many near and dear ones we lost. Today, Things have changed. Pandemic, this is one off. But all, our, if you see the hospitals, they are full of lifestyle diseases. Lifestyle diseases are dangerous. Our lifestyle has changed. We don't have enough exercise. And then our eating habits have changed. Food, the kids today challenge. And at the end of the day, we have FDA only to be our saviors. Today we look, as I said, at happiness index. And happiness makes a lot of difference to us and our families. My ever smiling and, and, and dynamic director, Ms. Jyoti Sardesai, who is always on the move, God alone knows from where she gets the energy. Probably she follows the rules of FD and consumes good food accordingly. Because she's you'll have the whole team my and probably I'll pop off and go as well no better place to go I have to thank the FDA for keeping us healthy for keeping us in in uh, I thank you all for giving me this opportunity to be with you all today for working with the chamber we have done events together and Ms. Jyoti herself has been uh, part of the chamber's 
uh, women's wing, where, where, uh, helping us in many of our events, and my chairman is here, Ms. Pallavi Sarbankar. Also notice that you all are more concerned about solving the pro problem and coming with a solution than dishing out punitive uh, measures. 